Hey guys, this is Mike with Door and Lock Tips. I've got a sport lock sent to me from my buddy down in Florida. And <laughs> you're going to get a kick out of this. Um, I'll save it till the end. So let's watch the video. This is what we have. This beautiful little Schlage. I love this thing. It's gorgeous. Especially free. Free's good. And this is a uh, SC4. Now, you know... This is just a little bigger than, than an SC1. And you can actually make this into a control key. Just watch, uh, you know, our buddies on the internet over at CLK Supply. He'll show you how to cut it on your key machine, <laughs> a little duplicator. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through, right through here. But I'm going to start over on this side. And I'm going to mark it, how deep this is, about that deep, drill through, because you don't want to destroy the icy core. And so I'm going to drill through, and that will get me to the pin, and I can take a little poker and poke the pin, and the, and the core will come right out. I watched it happen. It's cool. Look at that. I can't wait to get this bad boy apart, because then I'm going to take my, my uh, shim ninja, and I'm going to... I'm gonna, you know, degut this sucker and take it all apart and then repin it and to my to my flavor and then I can have a, a test lock. Thank you, my buddy down in Florida. This is a great little test lock. So let's see, how am I gonna do this? All right, I have a leashy little clamp. I kinda like this clamp. I have never used this leashy clamp before. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark with a pencil over to the other side. I'm gonna mark it with a marker. So I got my killer. I love this thing. I can't find them anymore. Dixon Reach. Look at look at this thing. Look at that little tip. Isn't that nice? So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna follow the thread. Follow the thread. Be like a straight edge. Okay, I followed the thread. Now I got to be just that same height on the other side above the little holding notch. So I'm going to say, let's see, I want to say, it's probably, probably right about there. I want to get a measuring, measuring device. I don't want to wreck this. All right, look at this. I got my beautiful little Michi Toyo out. So let's just see. Let's see what it really is. All right, it's about that. Let's see if I guessed it. Right on the money. That's crazy. All right, now. I'm going to get a punch and punch this. So I'm going to take it out and whack it over on the table. Put a nice center so I don't wander. I punched it nice in a real vise. And one little great little whack on the top of that thing. <laughs> so now, I, now the drill won't wander, you know, because when you're drilling, even though you got cobalt, you know, 96% cobalt, um, you don't want to want So I put my tape around there and I got the depth. So I don't want to go any deeper than that. So I'm going to drill this side. I hope I don't wreck it. All right, I put in a smaller drill because it's, it's wandering. So now I'm going to drill it so it doesn't wander. These shells are about 35, 40 bucks now. So I kind of relocated it. I want to get it started the wrong direction first. So I get something to turn on. Now I can... Everybody had a drill press. 
And I just don't have one of them anymore. You guys, this went through so fast, it's insane. Whoa. Okay, so I got it. I got it. So you use a little drill, and then use a bigger drill. Get all the crud out of there. Let's take a look. Not helping us here. Yeah, I can see it. Can see it. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push with a little pin in there, and pop this sucker out. Look at that. How cool that is. What a great trick. Why don't they put that in for us from the factory? We'll have to call Schleg up and say, Hey, we need a cheating hole on the other side, so we don't have to go through these videos and show everybody how to do it. <laughs> Uh, see, it still doesn't want to come out. You got to push that pin, push that pin in there. Stay till the end, guys. It's like a two-hour fix behind the scenes. Doesn't want to come out. But watch. This is an old craftsman. I love these things. Let's see if it works. Moment of truth. If I can get my fingers to work. it will. Oh, I could push it back here. See the pin in there? All right, I'm going to push it. Hmm. I had to drill the pin out. Then I had to pull all the guts off the back of this. This was frozen. Oh, whatever they did here, they wrecked this cylinder and it wouldn't even turn. But I did get it all apart. And look at the shims. Look at the shims. I went through four shims. I couldn't get a shim in there. And my shim ninja, it wouldn't work. Shim ninja would not do it. So I'm afraid I scrapped this bad boy. In the comment section, tell me how to do it. You know, when you can't get a shim in, and uh, it's just jammed up? Well, I don't know. Hard to know. Anyway, I did get it all apart, but it's wrecked. Junk! Too bad for me. Well, I'm getting some regular core keys. And I ground this off to make it like a core key. <laughs> and uh, pretty amateur going here. See, I don't deal with schlage. And this probably isn't meant to be done the way the guy said it anyway. I watched it on the internet. He popped that cylinder out so easy. He just put a he just put a pin puncher in there and put that thing out of there and it dropped out. I worked on it for an hour. I just decided, forget it, I'm gonna drill it. When I drilled it, you know, I kind of wrecked everything. But then I could not get a shim in here. The tolerances are too tight. Watch this. Yeah, look at you can't even turn it. And I did not drill in there. So they oh, this is something's bent or maybe when I put it in the vise. I don't know, man. That's crazy. So I couldn't even shim it out. I did get it though. Went through four shims. Ah, another easy night to show you a quick video. The guy had this thing. Apart, I'm gonna put a link to his little. <laughs> little thing. He had this done in four minutes, and I have quite literally spent three hours on it. Shame on me. I didn't want to give up though. You know, we just don't do that. So please subscribe to my channel. Tell me what I did wrong here, and there'll be more door and lock maybe tips, maybe in the future. Thanks, guys. If you guys are wondering what's wrong with my voice, I had COVID four weeks ago. It's turned into pneumonia, but I'm still trying to do some nice lock and door tips so that you can have a blast like I do with this stuff. Please subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, and I'll have more door and lock tips coming your way. Thanks.